Hello, this is Measurement Conversion Examples by Professor G. Um, in our last video, we just did the philosophy of measurement conversion, so now I'd like to do three specific examples um, that you might run into uh, in your schoolwork or your everyday life, right? Um, so for me, uh, the 2012 Summer Olympics just finished up, and so a question that somebody might have is, um, for an Olympic event of the 400 meter run, um, how many feet is that? And so you're looking at the fact that uh, one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. And so now how do I convert that? So basically what you want to do is you need to convert from the meters, right, to the feet. So the thing that you want to reduce to eliminate out of the problem is the meters. So this is what you need to divide by on both sides, right? So I'm going to divide by one meter over here and I'm going to divide by one meter over here. And so now um, the meters is going to be on the bottom and this is equal to one and so this is my unit conversion right here. So to convert from meters to feet, we need to divide by the meters. So now we're going to take the 400 meter run, right, and go ahead and take 400 meters and rationalize it, right, put it all over one, and then I'm going to multiply that by my unit conversion over here, 3.28 feet per one meter, right, and so that now the meters over meters will reduce and no longer be part of the problem. And now I'm going to end up with 400, right, no meters, times 3.28 feet all over 1 times 1 is just 1. So I'm just going to end up with a, a pure number, right, because anything divided by 1 is just 1. And the only unit I have is feet. So this final example is going to be uh, in feet here. Now I pull out my trusty TI calculator and I take 400 and multiply it by 3.28 and I get 1,312 feet as my final answer. And that um, makes us happy. So a 400 meter run is basically 1300 uh, feet. So it's a it's a good distance, right? So that would be one example. Now maybe another thing that you would be doing is uh, driving to Canada, right? Canada is, is here or maybe you're driving to Mexico. We live in Florida. You're going to go across the border and so you're looking at your uh, speedometer and you're wondering well if I'm doing 55 miles per hour um, all of the speed limit signs in Canada and Mexico are in kilometers per hour so how fast um, is 55 miles per hour in kilometers per hour um, well one mile is equivalent to 1.6 uh, kilometers so in, if you're going to go one mile in an hour, you're actually going to go 1.6 kilometers in an hour. So this is a pretty fast speed. So basically what we want to do is to convert from miles to kilometers, right? This is our objective. And so because this is what we, the unit we want to go away, this is what we're going to divide by, right? So perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by one mile and divide by one mile. All right. And so I'm going to end up with, I have 55 miles per hour. I'm going to rationalize that by putting it over one. I'm going to multiply that by my unit conversion here, the 1.6 kilometers per one mile. All right. So rationalize the denominator, multiply by the unit conversion. The miles are here, right? It's miles per hour, so the miles will reduce out. And what will be left? Well, your 55 times your 55 per hour, right? Don't forget the per hours, 
times the 1.6 kilometers all over 1 times 1 is just 1 and so anything divided by 1 uh, is going to go away and then you have the kilometers times per hour is going to give you kilometers per hour and so this is exactly where our answer is going to go and again I'm going to grab my uh, TI calculator and do 55 times 1.6 and end up with 88 so 55 miles per hour is 88 kilometers per hour so you're going uh, you know pretty fast uh, so don't get caught speeding in another country because you didn't know how to do the conversion now last but certainly not least is okay so you have a friend in England that tells you that gas is uh, 134.54 uh, pence per liter um, and you're thinking how much is that you know is that expensive um, so how much is that in dollars per gallon well on August the 24th 2012 when I did this video gas was averaging about three dollars and eighty four cents per gallon and the conversion for 134.54 pence uh, British sterling pence was equal to about two dollars and eight cents and then the unit conversion for all of these things is one liter is equal to uh, 0.26 gallons right so what we're gonna do is we're first gonna change the pence to the dollars okay so I'm gonna have two dollars and eight cents um, per liter okay so this is the gas per liter now the liter is on the bottom right so what I want to do is I want to have liters on the top to be able to reduce this and gallons on the bottom well the conversion then is gallons is 0.26 and the liters is one so you'll see that the one goes with the liters on the top and the gallons goes on the bottom and the reason we wanted to do that is so that the liters reduce out and now leaves me in dollars per gallon which is what I want I want to be able to compare this to the current price here right so now two dollars and eight cents times one is going to give you two dollars and eight cents all over and then one liter times 0.26 gallons is just going to give you 0.26 gallons now this is not quite in dollars per gallon the only way to actually get this in dollars per one gallon is to divide and so I go over to my handy dandy um, calculator and if I divide 2.08 dollars by 0.26 gallons I get exactly eight dollars per gallon because by dividing this by this you make the denominator one and so you've got eight dollars per gallon so we're currently spending a little less than four dollars per gallon and in England they're spending eight dollars per gallon and so usually we put a happy face here but I'm gonna put a sad face here because that is no bueno alright so those are three examples of measurement conversions I hope you find that uh, helpful